Hello everybody, this is Kyanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. This video is about logbook integration in Home Assistant. The logbook integration provides the history of your home by showing all the changes happened. In other words, the integration displays all the state changes read from the recorder integration in text format and it is by default enabled. I mentioned recorder integration. This integration records all states of all domains, entities, and etc. Also, there are some filters that you can use in logbook integration. I will cover them during the video. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. In Home Assistant, on the left panel, you can find Logbook Integration. By clicking on it, the integration page opens. In this page, we have a start date. You can easily select the start date and the time. In front of it, we have end date, also the time. Also, we have entity drop-down list. You can select a specific entity to check its log. For example, motion sensor. As I mentioned, the entity is by default enabled. In Home Assistant, navigate to Settings. Add-ons, select File Editor. If you do not have File Editor installed, at the bottom of the screen, on the right, click Add-on Store. Search File Editor and install it. I open File Editor, click Open Web UI. Navigate to configuration.yam file of your Home Assistant. At the top of the configuration.yam file, you will see default underline config line. This enables recorder integration, logbook integration, and history integration. By removing this line, all three integrations will be disabled. If you remove this line, you can manually enable each integration. easily by adding the name of integration in configuration.yam file. For example, like book. If I save the edited yam file and restart Home Assistant, the logbook integration will be enabled. By the way, if you make any changes in configuration.yam file, do not forget to save it and reboot your Home Assistant. I mentioned there are some filters that you can use in logbook integration. In order to add filters to logbook, you have to navigate to configuration.yam file of your home assistant. The best way to edit the configuration.yam file is using file editor add-on. Okay, in order to add filters to logbook, you have to enter this line in the configuration.yam file. If you have this line, in order to add filters, you have to add this line too. There are two main parameters for this integration, include and exclude. In case you just want to see messages from some specific entities or domains, use the include configuration. If you want to exclude messages of some entities or domains from the logbook, just add the exclude parameter. I add the exclude parameter below the logbook. In each exclude or include, we have three items, entities, entity underline globes, domains. So I added exclude filter to logbook which means 
which integrations should not create logbook entries. We can create a list of entity IDs to be excluded from creating logbook entries by adding entities line below the exclude. Below entities, here we have to add the list of entity IDs to be excluded from creating logbook. For example, here we have several sensors. I want to remove date sensor. In this way, I add it to exclude list sensor.date. That's it. Let's, for example, remove motion sensor entity. Navigate to Home Assistant, Logbook. From this drop down list, you can find the ID of your device. This is the ID of motion sensor binary underline sensor dot motion underline sensor. By adding it to the YAM file below entities, it will be excluded from logbook. Entity globs. This exclude all entities matching a listed pattern from creating logbook entries. As an example, I have date time, three date time entities. One is date underline time, date underline time UTC and ISO. I want to exclude all of them. Instead of adding each of the sensors in entities section, I use entity globs. How? Sensor dot date underline time underline asterisk. This remove all entities matching date underline time underline etc. Another item which is domains. By using domains, you can exclude the list of domains from creating logbook. For example, sum or weather. This was exclude. Let's talk about include. We have the same definitions for entities in include section, entity globes, and domains, except the fact that they are added to the logbook entries. By adding these lines to our configuration.yam file, we removed these two sensors from logbook. Now I want to add one of them. In include section, I added entities. Now I add sensor dot date underline time underline UTC easily added. Also you can add domains below include. I added domains line and for example I add weather. Let's add another entity in include section. In this page I choose one of the sensors. Write down 
its ID, for example, motion sensor. Then navigate to configuration.yam file in entity section below include. Add it to your YAM file. That's it. After editing your configuration.yam file, you have to see this checked mark, meaning that you have edited the YAM file correctly. If there is any issue, you will see a warning. Do not forget to click Save and restart your Home Assistant by navigating to Settings, System, and clicking Restart at the top right corner of the screen. If you have any question, do not hesitate to leave comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.